Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll work through some examples of using the lag and lead analytic functions to solve some problems. If you're new to analytic functions, there are some links in the description box, including an introduction post that will help you understand the basics. We start off with a list of employees in the EMP table. We're going to focus on the salaries stored in the SAL column. The lag analytic function allows us to access column values from previous rows in the result set. In this example, we asked for the value of the SAL column with an offset of 1, which means the previous row in the result set. If there's no previous row, we'll display 0 as the default value. In the analytic clause, we've ordered the rows by the salary. Remember, the order by in an analytic clause doesn't necessarily affect the display order of the rows. It defines how the data will be ordered when the analytic function is applied. When we run this, we see the previous salary for the first row is zero, the default value. This is because there's no previous row to supply the salary value. All subsequent rows have a previous salary value that matches the value of the salary column from the previous row. The resulting value can be used in mathematical operations. In this example, we've added a new item into the select list. We use the lag call, but subtract it from the current salary value, giving us the difference between the salary from the current row and that from the previous row. When we run this, we see the salary from the current row, the salary from the previous row, and the difference between the two. We can add a partitioning clause to the analytic call to constrain the analytic function. Here we add partition by department number, so each department will be treated as a separate group. When we run this, we see the first row in each partition has a previous salary of zero, the default. Remember, the analytic function is now limited to working within the department partition, so there's no previous row for the first row in each partition. The lead analytic function allows us to access column values from later rows in the results set. In this example, we're looking at the salary from the next row. If there's no next row, we use the default value of zero. We repeat this call and subtract the current salary from it to display the difference between the two. When we run this, we see the salary from the current row, the salary from the next row, and the difference between the two. Notice how the next salary is sourced. As with the lag example, we add partition by department number, so each department will be treated as a separate group. When we run this, we see the last row in each partition has a next salary value of zero, the default. Remember, the analytic function is now limited to working within the department partition, so there's no next row for the last row in each department. Hopefully this has given you some idea of what the lag and lead analytic functions can be used for. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.